What's up, everybody? I this was I didn't tell anybody I was doing this because I didn't know I was doing it. Um, <clears throat> let me. Where's Niles? Niles, where you at, buddy? I saw you in here. Add, add. Boom. There you go, buddy. Niles, if you can hear me, you should be able to hear me. I just put you on as a moderator. Look, I'm not going to read a lot of comments. I'm not going to read any comments tonight because I just want to. Um, I want. I wanted to. A lot of people. You saw the picture if you clicked on it. Um, I. You saw the picture. And it was like this little. Here, let me show you. Hold on. I don't have the original right here. But um, but I was making another one. So, <clears throat> a lot of people had asked. This is not done, by the way. I was working on this last night, and a lot of people had asked me about making that. So, I'll probably do a re like a real video on that, but. Hey, listen. I figured even if we, even if we did like a like a two-step video um, or a two-part video or something, you know, we'll see how uh, we'll see how it goes. But um, if if you ask any if you ask any questions or anything like that, I'll read it after. Um, I just I'm not going to pay attention to the comments because I don't I don't like it gets sidetracked. I get sidetracked, and I just want to. I'm here to I'm here to do this. You know what I mean? Um, all right, that's it. So. I didn't do anything to this yet. I did absolutely nothing to this. And um, yeah, I wanted to do that to show you the process because uh, it seemed like a lot of people liked that picture and, and uh, I appreciate that a lot. It was something, a um, little area from my home, my hometown, a little fishing spot. And uh, one other thing, hopefully, hopefully nothing goes wrong here. The last time we did a uh, unexpected live stream, it cut out, so. If you want, you can like, share the video if you feel like it. If not, that's fine too. But I'm going to go, I'm just going to get started with this and uh, show you the process of what, um, what I do to make this. And that's about it. All right. All right, so the first thing, um, it's oil paint. Um, that I'm using, and I got a bunch of different colors on here. Might as well just tell you, but I don't even know if I use them all. They're kind of men are mixed. This is uh, phthalo blue. Um, this is uh, Prussian blue. This is midnight black. What the hell is this? Um, okay, I know. Yeah, Van Dyke brown and um, dark sienna, sap green, cad yellow, Indian yellow, yellow ochre, and crimson, and obviously white. So there's a little bit of. A little bit of Bob happening here, his colors, which they kind of happen in every picture that I do. So the first thing that I did was I sort of like put a sketch down. Um, not holding the palette, never hold the palette. Um, oh, for anybody here that's on here, if you're a channel member, we're going to do uh, channel member live streams. And uh, you like where I'll actually hold the palette, even though I'm uncomfortable, but so you can see everything. So make sure that you guys have your notifications on the people that are a channel member, because uh, we're going to do some really in in depth uh, stuff. Whether uh, you're interested in that or not, I'm not sure, but uh, they will be there for anybody in the future too, as well. And I'm going to start on them um, in about what's today? What is today? I don't even know what date it is. In about a week or two. So here's what I did to do a sketch. Let me grab some white. Just plop that right there. There's a little blue in there. That's fine. Just like little color, you know, that you black, brown, green, whatever. Just something doesn't matter. Use all the colors, see? It doesn't matter. Just get something for a sketch, you know, just like a light color. Not even a sketch. It's just like, I don't even like calling it that. It's just so I can place things in certain areas that I want them to be. So, that's probably good enough. And the reason it's a lighter color, so this way it's not, uh, you know, it's a light color. You can go over top of it, easy to cover up, all that stuff. But if you want, just use blue, black, and brown. I mean, that's a good color and white for a sketch. Blue, black, brown, and white. Um, I'm going to have to step back a lot because I have to look at this other one over here just to get it an idea, even though I probably don't even need to look at it. I could probably just make it the whole thing without looking at it. I'll put the sky in here in a minute. But, like, so this is what I did. You start back here, like, and you just kind of get an idea of the, the big, the placement of the big items um, in this picture or any picture, you know. So, you know, like, here's, like, a bunch of water, and back here kind of, 
some land back here and it goes like this. And then you can step back and take a look at that and you know whether it looks right or not, you can you can always change stuff. You know, I think this needs to be a little higher, so you know, I, I can change that. Super easy. And this is going to look really bad, you know. So I don't expect a lot of people to watch this right now because it looks I, but if this is the process, if you want to make something, I mean, this is my process. You know that I that I uh, use. Um, so I'm just throwing in some randomness here. All right, like that. Yeah. So I like that picture. I like that a lot. And and the the, the more time that you spend on something, you know, the nicer it's going to look. You know. So always remember that. All right, let me grab these paper towels here real quick. I'm just wiping this off real quick and I'm gonna do right off the bat here, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna grab like a greenish, uh, yeah, like a green color, a green with some like, I don't know, I think there was like some green, yellow ochre and blue and black, it just all, it seems like it's all the colors really um, until it gets to a nice green that, that I like. But black and green is what I'm primarily using here. So. All right, that looks about right. So I just got, I'm using a filbert brush here that somebody sent me. Pretty neat, nice little wooden color. So I'm gonna wipe that off real quick and then this is where I started to go like this. Now this is gonna really look weird, um, but it's just, it is what it is, you know? So I started doing like these little circle things to get like, just like these basic little shapes in and I'll darken it up as I go as I go, I'll darken it up or whatever, lighten it, darken it, scrape it, you know, something. So, uh, so a lot of this is scrubbing. I don't know if a lot of you know or have do stuff like this, but you know, when you look at a picture in, re in real life or any picture, it's just, it's a bunch of color. And when you put that color down, you just, you kind of refine that color. And, um, and that's, what it's just it, it's an illusion all this is is a big illusion that's all it is you know so and the reason I'm saying that is for you know a lot of people a lot of people that do this kind of painting like you know wet on wet um, get nervous when it comes to they get nervous when it comes to doing you know things and details and stuff but you see I thought this would probably be a pretty good little demonstration I think because it's so sloppy you know and it's sort of comes together afterwards. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing little these thingies, little circles, putting in weird weirdness shapes and all that stuff. Get a little white on there, lighten it up a little bit. And just for uh, I guess a little disclaimer for for the record, if uh, you know if somebody is here watching this video I mean this is only how I do this stuff it's not I don't even know if any of this is the right way or not um, from time to time like people will say oh well you know you're not supposed to do that or you're not supposed to do whatever this or that and um, it doesn't really matter to me because you know this is how this is just what I do um, every you know the different ways and I'm just telling you what what I do I'm not telling you it's right or or it's wrong or anything like that you know so just to clear that up I just want to make sure that you know like maybe uh, Maybe it's not the right way, and it's you know I'm good with that. What am I doing with a? Probably can just use. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna just grab a fan brush. I think real quick that'll be pretty good. I, I better pop some of the sky in because uh, if not, it's gonna get it'll get harder and harder to put in after the fact. Um, yeah, I could probably use this. So I'm just gonna I'm throwing some of this you know. Uh, whoops. Careful, I'm slinging it around. I have this my laptop right there. I just got liquid white on my uh, laptop screen. It's all right. I'm just putting. I wasn't even going to use this, but I am just. It's going to make it just a little bit easier for purposes of, of showing, showing you. So I'm just using a fan brush. I'm just kind of scrubbing it in because a lot of people that use this liquid white stuff, um, they use too much of it. I don't know if you saw how much I had on here, but I, I even wiped it off. So, you know, use a little bit. 
and just I'm just scrubbing this in here. Just scrubbing it in. It goes a long way. It goes a real long way. And like that, maybe I'll just sneak a little bit in here. No, oh yeah, it was a bad idea. All right. So that looks pretty good. I'm just going to keep using this fan brush, I think, and I'm going to I'll start putting this sky in. <clears throat> Even though this is oil painting, oil paint, it's still it's it's di it's still different um, to paint this way, in, in my opinion, because you're taking a little bit more time. You're not just like winging it, you know. You're not just throwing stuff wherever. Um, and I kind of like it actually. I'm just getting some blue on this fan brush. I actually I kind of like this way, but for the purposes of like, it's too uh, too dark. For the purposes of watching a video, nobody. I don't think people want to sit here and watch. You know watch me spin circles you know but you know so I'm doing it right now so we'll find out won't we all right so I'm wiping this off I'm gonna set that out of the way real quick I'm just gonna grab a, a one inch brush here real quick I just want to see something because it, it wasn't that dark of a blue this is a really this is really dark but that's all right I'll use that little bit to do everything that'll do it all steal it from here bring it there all right and we'll work it over here in a second too and I'm just going to start bringing that down like that. You see, I just made it much easier to put that up there. So I like doing circles with everything. Circles. Because they work and it kind of like blends it at the same time. All right, so that there. I don't have to worry about the bottom because I got a bunch of stuff going into there. Let me just get, let me darken it up just a tiny bit here on the top. <clears throat> but so many, oh man, so many people asked me about that picture. So um, I just had a little time and uh, I wasn't going to, and then I just did. I just did it because I like to just do things, you know, and I, I try to get people to to do stuff like that. When you have an idea, just do it. Don't don't say you're going to do it tomorrow. Do it. Do it now. There's never there's never a better time than right now to do something. I just got to smooth that out just a little bit more before I move on. Um, yeah, it looks good. I just want to smooth this real quick and then we'll move on. But seriously, do it now. Do it. Do if you have an idea in your head, you want to do something, get on it. Don't don't wait because you never know, tomorrow may come and you won't get it done. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm not worried about this here because there's other stuff. I'll show you how to take care of that in a second. But I wanna take this one inch brush and I just wanna pop a little bit of blue here real quick. See, just like that, get a little bit more. And right here, you know, just a little tiny bit right there. I'm gonna wipe this off and then I'm gonna go ahead and now to bring this together, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm just gonna do these little circles real for a minute or two, and it'll just kind of close this little gap. And I'm not worried about blending these dark shapes that I just put in here because they could be stuff in the background. And that's like the great part about doing this kind of painting. If something's smooth or you're smoothing something out, it becomes like something in, in the background. You know, you're looking at a bunch of trees, there's gonna be trees not just in the front, there's stuff behind them too. So I'll just go in and put some shapes back on top of this. But I'm just going to close some of this in here like that. All right. See? I'm just doing circles. I'm not doing anything special here. Just little, little circles. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, wow, that looks like, that looks bad. And it does. And that's okay. I'm going to step back here and figure it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that looks right. So, quick example here. Taking a filbert, get back to that nice little green, blue, black, green color. And then, um, let me just try to pick out some of these little areas. This one's going to be a little bit of a different one than that one. And that's the other thing. If you're if you're making something twice, it's going to be different. 
you know, so you put, you put a little line in like that, right? Just for like a little guide, you know? And it work. this works wonders right here when you, when you do stuff like this, all right? You know, put stuff here, there, whatever. This works. And then start putting them back in here like this, go, go, go right down the center. But you see what I was telling you about the stuff in the back, it becomes background stuff. And when you start to put these little highlights and stuff in, it's just gonna look better. It's gonna look better. So look, see? Literally circles, I'm not, I'm not joking. These are just literally little circles. I gotta darken that corner up. Right here, it's, that, that was dark. So I can put some nice little highlights in here in a little bit, make sure that's nice and dark. All right. I'm not worried about this here because I can pull it down and make like a reflection, you know, after the fact. And I do want to leave some of these little areas in here, these little light spots, because, you know, that'll look like, you know, stuff in the background, so. All right. All right, now I'm going to lighten the color up and I'm going to move uh, further, further away. So, <clears throat> just get some, probably just white. It's good. White, maybe a little bit of blue in there. Blue is good for colors that are more distant and further. Uh, blue, white, and whatever color that you want it to be. Because blue makes things just look further, I think. They do to me. And, uh, I mean, you know, I don't have the best eyes in the world, but, you know, blue. And uh, I'll show you the color here in a second. Blue, black, and green. Let's try that. just has like a little tint of blue in it. You know when you look at a mountain from super far away, um, it looks it has like a blue look to it. So I'm actually wiping this off a lot. And that's too dark. I'm just going to get, watch this, I'm going to get straight white on here. Wipe that real quick and then see. Okay. I'd rather start lighter because you can always like darken stuff, you know. You can always darken things up. Where does this tree go back there somewhere? And then try to get that shape similar, at least, you know, as the other one. I mean, even though it does look, it's going to look different, I still want it to be the place that's a real place, you know, so it's all right to be a little bit different. And a lot of this doesn't really even come together until you start putting in the little details. And I'm trying to speed up just a little bit so you guys can catch some of it in case anybody falls asleep. Because uh, I don't blame you if you do. But these are literally, you see what I'm doing? These are just a bunch of swipes and, and uh, that's all that is. All right, all right, all right. Let me do this. Just kind of form this land here. And there's nothing wrong with painting uh, this way, for sure. Nothing wrong with it. All right, I'm gonna drop some of the the, uh, the watercolor in here, you know, and then we'll move down from that. Let's see, so I could probably just use, probably just use this fan brush. Got it right here. Put some uh, this stuff down, get some of this medium right here. Just, I'm just gonna swirl that in here like this. Where does that go back there? Okay. Right under here. I think what I like about this so much is it looks uh, it looks bad, and then it, it starts to look you know it starts to look good. All right. And I'm going to lighten some of this up and darken some of it up and do all of the things. Um, got a bush going right here, so I don't want to go too low there. All right. There's a big tree there, I ain't worried about that. So I'm gonna take this, probably the same fan brush, now I'm gonna just grab regular white paint and hit back here just a little bit. But I don't wanna, I got some trees here, so I don't wanna go in that area because you'll make too much paint and then you'll, you'll be, uh, you know, unhappy because it won't be working right. It'll be making a lot of like muddy uh, type of areas. Um, so I'm just using white and whatever dirt's on this fan brush. That's all I'm using. Okay. And the purpose of this right here was just to get that color down here and then I can drag whatever I want in there 
and uh, kind of go from there. So I'm going to step back here real quick. And the first thing I think I should do is, um, let me grab, let me see if this will work. Uh, maybe I'll try this one inch brush here. I just want to get some of that green, some of that green into, all right, so that's not going to work. Um, I'm just going to get some green on this brush probably. Green and black. Looks good, right? And just go like this. I mean, you don't have to pull it off down all the time. You don't always have to do that. You could just sit here and do what I was doing earlier. Look, circles. You know, there's different ways you can do things. Um, you don't always have to do things the same. I, I just recommend to just experiment around with stuff and you'll figure things out and you'll figure out, you know, what's the best for you. That would be the, the best way. All right, not worried about back there too much. See, I got some yellow. I got all kinds of little weird stuff in there, and I'm not worried about that. Okay. All right, so now that's in there. That color's in there. So now I'm going to, now I'll just kind of give it a little quick pull down. And then I just got to figure out where my land is, that little line I drew earlier. All right. Back here, you're not going to really see too much. wiping this uh, this uh, brush off and um, just remember what I was saying um, to you guys that it's it, it's not going to look good this is not you know paintings aren't every painting isn't supposed to look uh, you know perfect you know right from the beginning okay just so you know I just want to make sure I say that again it's going to look ugly until, until the end. I'm just going to swipe this back and forth. I'll do this a few times as I'm going to add stuff in here. Whatever I put in on the top, I'm going to add it on the bottom as well. So I'm just doing it in steps because it makes things easier. So, all right, I'm going to, um, let me throw some of the, uh, you now I had rocks or something in here. So I'm going to take um, a little bit of this, probably dark sienna, and uh, some of this Van Dyke Brown and a little bit of black. That'll be a good, maybe a good base color. So when I'm, you know, when I make like a, uh, like rocks, like a good base color is always like a, a brown or a burnt umber. If you use midnight black, it has a purplish in it and it's just a great color um, for, you know, for like the base color of like little rocks. So I, I've always liked to do that. You know, I'm just gonna put some color. I'm not actually worried about you know, a shape of a rock or whatever. I'm just putting, see, a little color in here, some back there, like that. And then, you know, I'm just trying to get the uh, perspective right here. Perspective is important. Even though the painting looks like hell, you still gotta have um, perspective, so. All right, and I'm pulling a little, putting a little extra here, so this way I can pull that down. You go back there to, you know, whatever you don't want, you just drown it, literally. All right, so here, this is what I was saying. Grab the one inch and do this. Pull some of that down too, some of that color. And this won't make too much sense until I put a, like a, a water line in, okay? But it will, it'll come together. going that way. So see, I step back because now I see the things that I have to, uh, that's to fix. So then when this comes down, it's kind of come, it's got to go more this way. It's kind of coming off the canvas like that. Let's fix that up a little bit. There we go. Just put stuff wherever. Actually, I'm just going to do one of these numbers here like this. There we go. Now, as far as those rocks go, um, you're not going to see, I don't know how much you can see on here. Probably not a lot. So let me do something here for you real quick. Or let me just grab, I'm going to get a little light color here. Yeah, put a little midnight black into that. You 
and not too light, but get a little bit more of that. Yeah, that's good right there. All right, so like towards later on when you go to put some like some highlights in here, you know, you start dropping things in like this and then, you know, highlighting these little areas here and it starts to come a little bit to life, you know, you start to see things, you know what I mean? You'll start to put together that those are rocks. And when you uh, put uh, you know, highlights on things, they work. Highlights brings things to life. Just like highlights in your life. It makes you happy, makes things look right. So, and another thing here, since I got this light color, let me show you. And the reason, I, I, you know what, the, one of the reasons I did this, because I never paint like this. I just never, I never, I never paint like this. And I said this the other day, I have, um, this is going to sound really weird, but I'll just say it. Let me just do this real quick. So a little bit of light color. Watch this. This is like little sticks and thingies, right? Watch. You can use a knife to do this too, but but these are going to be, some of these will be hidden, and you'll be able to see some. You won't be able to see others, but they'll start to bring those little sticks and things, and it's in nature. It'll bring them together. Um, I have um, close to 200 I have close to 200 paintings um, that I've never shown anybody, and I don't know. I don't know why. Um, I'm not sure why, but it sounded like a good idea um, when I came up with the idea a while back. So, how interesting is that? And there's um, there's a good portion of them that are uh, painted like this. So, I thought that was interesting. Cool, and we'll have some little highlights back in here. You know, maybe there's a little rock back there too, you know, little things. I mean, this is just, this is great, you know. I love this. And it was uh, it was extra super special because of, of the location and, you know, where it was. And, 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 you know, my son always liked going there. I'm just going to get a little bit of dark color with a little blue in it because I want to put a little bit of dark right here because things that are closer... You know, should be a little darker and a little bit more defined, all right? So maybe we'll have a little, you know, a little shadow. Watch it. I'll put this rock right in the water. You know, let's do these two just for now. I mean, you shouldn't do this until later, but let me do it right now. The brown color. See, just show you real quickly how to do this. I'm going to wipe that off, and I'm going to get some of that light color that we used to highlight with this, and then... Just drop some of that in there too. Not too much, but see, it's just simple. Simple. Now, let me set this out of the way so I can get my other uh, other brush here. My little one-inch guy I got going here tonight. Wipe that off and then watch. Pull this down a little bit. Pull it. See, pull a little bit like this. And we got some up here too. Let's pull him down. All right. Now, let me swipe it side to side and try to make a little sense of it for you, okay? You see? And if, let's say you want to make an adjustment. Here's what you do. You just I want, I want it a little bit more dark. I want more matching color because it looks like it had a little bit more blue in there. Simple. You know, you just put some of that there and some of there and whatever. And you just go right back over top of it. It's just really, I want to pull down. I really want you to know this is water. So I'm going to pull it down a little further. And then just do this. See? All right. Now, I always get excited to show you guys things um, and I was debating on this because of the it's different it's you know it's not what I normally do but I wanted you guys to you know maybe see it maybe you like it you know maybe you don't like it maybe it's fine either way all right I'm just getting this knife here because I want to make sense of something to you real quick so you have something okay to look at even though we got to put a lot more stuff in but I want to come right up here real quick and I just want to I just want to start whipping this around like this here we go. I get excited. I start making noises when this part happens, always, even when I'm by myself. See? Put some there. A little secondary line right there, maybe. I just, the reason I, I'm doing this right now is because I really want you to see 
you know, what's happening here. So you have an idea of, of that there's water and it's just like it's moving around, you know. So I'm going to get a little bit more and I just think it would be nice to have a something maybe, you know, coming towards us like this, see. It's just real, you know, quick decision and you think about it and you just do it. We've got to fix our buddy here because he was a little out of perspective. Okay. Simple. Simple, simple. All right. So every time I step back, I, you know, I look at something and technically with this water line, I feel like there needs to be something here. Just, you know, when I do stuff, I don't know. I try to do what, when I look at something, if it looks pleasing to, to me when I look at it, that's what um, I consider uh, the right way. You know, whether it's the wrong way or not, when something looks pleasing to me, that's what I, you know, that's what I run with. Um, all right, I want to move down to the bottom here, okay? And I want to get some of this light color real quickly. I just want to do one quick thing, very light color. And I want to pull, I just want to put some stuff here. You don't have to use a filbert at all to do this, okay? You really don't. You can do you can do this. You know, these are good for like little 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 branches that are gonna end up. We'll highlight over these, so a lot of these won't show through, you know, but it helps with perspective. It really does. It really does. All right, so now we got a bunch of, you know, we have a bunch of what looks like uh, branches. A bunch of branches. And we haven't even highlighted anything yet. So now I'm going to go back to the filbert. Let's go back to the filbert here. And wipe that off. Yeah, get some nice dark color and we'll start doing this area here. It's actually coming along pretty good. Not too bad. I hope you like it you like it because it's one of my favorite pictures ever because of the reason there's always a good story with something you know story is a good thing stories are interesting stories keep people engaged stories are normally good memories okay let's just do one of these numbers here see I like circle I call this circle painting um, that's what I call it Circle painting. Not even joking. Not even the slightest. Um, I don't think I've ever mentioned that to people. What kind of paint do you do? Oh, I do circle painting because that's a lot of the pictures that um, that I do on my own. I don't show anybody. I just I do exactly what you're seeing right here. This is what I do, like that. Then, let me see here, I'm going to have to, I got to do something real quick. All right. I have a lot of uh, I got, I, extra medium down here. I just want to do something real quick, just right there. I just want to uh, pat on this real quick because if not, um, this is, It'll definitely get like you know kind of muddy, so this is sometimes good, you know, good to do. So, and all it does is it it'll just take any of the extra crap out of there that you, that you don't need or that you shouldn't be working with. So I'm just using blue, black, and green here. Um, these are the colors I'm using through this whole picture: blue, black, and green for the darks. You know, blue, black, and green. And another thing you can do if you're dealing with um, paint on top of paint, wet paint, something else that you can do is you can do, where is it? Um, you can get like a three, like, you know, like a synthetic brush and you can use that because the synthetics are softer and the softer it is, the easier, you know, the paint will, will stick and apply. So you, know, you can come in here like this, see? And just kind of do one of these things here. You know, do that, that. 
Now I've got to step back and see exactly where I have these things. They don't have to be exact. I just want them to be close. So I'm just doing this. Um, circles, pretty much. Well, not circles with this. I'm kind of jabbing it and just doing little, like almost like a suggestion that there's something, there's something right there. And that goes all the way back like that. You just got to be careful because I have that medium right there, and and it will, you know, it'll get in your way. It'll me it'll definitely mess things up if you don't, you know, control it properly. It'll definitely mess stuff up for sure, and you don't want that. Because when you're when you're painting, you want it to be, you want it to be fun, um, a fun experience. You want to have a good time. Because I've learned that most people, most people uh, paint pictures. Um, for a, a reason, you know, for a, a reason, maybe like they're, like they're broken, you know, like a broken human. And that's what, um, that's what got me started painting because, you know, it, it, it hurts so bad to be broken all the time, you know, and not able to understand why or what to do about it. And, um, you know, Valiums don't work. So painting is, uh, is good for those things. And I'm just trying to put in just some of the areas so I know I can go back to the filbert now for this one here because I can scrub this in. So yeah, all the uh, all the darks are just blue, uh, blue, black, and green. Equal, like equal amounts. Equal, equal, equal. Um, but just to touch on something that I said earlier, uh, and also combined with, you know, the whole broken, the broken human experience. Um, I try to say that when people tell me that I'm doing this wrong, um, you know, when they say that I'm doing this wrong, and that happens often. Um, and I, uh, I try to say to them, I'm not an art teacher at all, because I'm not, I'm not a teacher whatsoever. You know, I, I just... I'm doing what looks right and what feels right. That you know, and I, and I just that's why I encourage this to people so much because this this will just get you through many things, many many things in your life, and it'll it'll change you as a as a as a human in the best way if you let it, if you let it happen, it'll it'll help you, and it's it's like guaranteed, and I think uh, I like to make sure that you have a good experience while you're doing it, and that's. I think that's the purpose for me to be here for you, to help you have that experience because it's so important to have that experience. If you don't get that experience, you're going to be frustrated. So I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to show you that it's okay. It's all right to, it's all right to mess stuff up and you know, it's okay. It's totally fine. That's why I sometimes I'll scrape, I'll scrape the painting off, you know, or not, not scrape it off. I'll, you know, I'll mess it up or run a, run a brush through it, stuff like that to show you it's all right, don't worry about it. Because I mean it, I really mean that. You know, but um, as far as the proper way, the, listen, the proper way to paint pictures, listen, there's a lot of channels here on YouTube, you know, um, you may want to consult with some of them, you know, because I don't, I don't know, I don't know the right way to do this, you know. I only know the way that fixes my heart if that does, if that makes any sense to you, that's what I know. I know the way that fixes my my feelings. Okay, you know I don't. I couldn't tell you really too much about what you know what colors you need to mix to to have something way in the distance. I mean the only thing I know is add blue. That's it. You know so. Um, but what I can tell you, what I can tell you is how to fix your your heart and your soul and your insides. And I would argue with somebody over that if they said that I did that wrong because I firmly and firmly believe in it. I believe in it and that's why I <clears throat> try to show you guys everything about me. I put uh, some embarrassing, th embarrassing things out into the real world about myself and my past and I, uh, I do it for, I just want to show a little light, you know, shed some light and show you guys it's possible. Believe me, if I can do it, you can do it. That is the truth. You can do it. I'm putting a little brown in here because 
little brown is a uh, little, you know, little dirt, and we'll blend that together and add highlights and stuff like that. But you see what I'm doing here? You know, adding the areas like there's, it's going to be dark maybe there, maybe maybe there's a little shadow there, maybe there's going to be dark here. You just put the color in, right? See, you put the color in, and then you can and then you can work with that color. You know, so it's super. It's just so this is so great. I I'm already feeling. I wasn't feeling it when I first when I first started this, but. I'm already like drifting off into another world and it's just, I swear to God, this happens every single time. Whew, I get in here and I just, you know, cause listen, I'm, I'm human, you know, I'm definitely a human as well. And there's some days where, you know, I'm just like, oh, you know, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to paint that picture today. I can easily just make a video tomorrow. And, uh, and then I do the video and I'm so happy that I do it because it's just amazing. It's amazing and it's just such a great feeling. It's such a great feeling. And it'll help. And I think that's what my plan is, you know? I think that's what my plan is for, you know, until, I'm, until I die, you know, however long God gives me left here. And my plan is uh, I want to show people that um, they can change. And the reason is because it's possible, and I would be categorized um, as a human that would have been considered that there's no way in hell that guy's ever going to change. Not only did, you know, I don't, I feel like not only was there a change, um, almost like a rebirth of some sort, you know, so I'm really, I'm really, really, really excited to, to be able to show people that and, and also love when people share their stories and stuff like that because it's just can't tell you what it does I just I really can't it does a lot though it does a lot see how nice so far see look at that see that just smoothing it together now we got us a nice little area right there so, but, um, but the reason I you know the reason I said everything that I just said is because I don't uh, you know I don't I don't ever want somebody to do something here and say oh I learned I learned this from him and then you know Somebody will uh, get upset and say, well, that's the wrong way. Don't ever listen to him. So, you know, the only perspective that I want to teach is, is, is life perspective. I want to teach perspective about your life. All right, I'm going to get some brown. I'm going to get a nice dark color here. Let me just make a little bit of room here. Put a picture up the other day about uh, about losing uh, about losing weight, and um, just want to say something about that. Well, I'm, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm going to start making some uh, some of the tree trunks here because we're moving along pretty good actually, and I'm actually excited that this is moving along. We didn't do any highlights yet, so it'll it'll just get better. But I just want to say something while I'm just putting, I'm just using some brown and black, very dark color. I want to say something about um, this picture that I put up, right? It's super, you know, it's super, I think, encouraging and it's, and it's great. But I just, uh, I just want to make sure that I put this out there too. It's not, it's not just all of those. You know, don't forget, um, it's embarrassing. It, you know, it's embarrassing for, for me to put that out there, um, <clears throat> you know? I'm, I gotta do one thing real quick. I have to grab, I'm just gonna use the three quarter. I gotta put little little tree-like things in the back behind the trunk, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Um, and when I say that, like, no, I, I mean, I'm not like standing here in front of you embarrassed right now, but I mean like, um, it takes, it just takes a, a lot. It takes a lot to, to show people how messed up you are, you know? It takes a lot, in my personal opinion. Um, to show people your flaws and how flawed you are or whatever. But, you know, there's a reason. And I just like to clarify that a lot because there's a reason that that's done. And it's, uh, it's, it's for hope. It's for hope for others. Because there's something that I always like. I always wish this. I always wish now in this day and age, I wish I would have, like, seen or talked to somebody. Or I wish I would have been able to read posts back then like I, that, that I make today. Like the post things that I post damn, I wish I could have, wish I could read stuff like that back then because I firmly believe even back then I could have 
been like, yo, you know what? That guy's right. You know, you just got to do it, you know? And I think that, I mean, you know, I'm not dwelling on it, but I'm just saying um, everything worked out great. But that would have been so cool to, to read back then. And, you know, that's just where my head's at. Now I'm getting a really light color here while I'm at it. Light yellow, a little green in there because there was a little light happening right around there. I'm gonna wipe that off a little bit more. I need it to be a little bit lighter than that even. Just a super yellow and white color. You know, so when you put your information, your flawed self all over the internet, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes that can, I don't wanna say, call, you know, embarrass me because I'm very, uh, I'm, I'm okay with with saying uh, to somebody, yes, absolutely, I'm very flawed. Nice to meet you, you know? I'm more interested in, in what to do from that point, you know? What can we do to, what can we do to get you in the right direction? You know, I'm not sure where all that came from because I don't know that I was ever like that, so. I was never like that. I, I, you know, I always thought I was a good human. I mean, Nile, Niles, I saw he was on, uh, earlier when I first started, Niles would know probably better than anybody because I've Niles that's on the um, the streams here. Um, Niles is uh, one of my best friends in the whole world. Best friends in the whole world. Now I've known him for many many years, and they just don't get any better than him. And uh, yeah, I just can't say enough good things about him. And he's somebody who, you know, has also dealt with a lot with the world and just different things and. And I'm always happy to to be around him and just try to do anything, you know, to just keep that positive flow always going because it makes it makes a difference in life. And, and I think he can attest to that. So I'm going to grab that filbert. And I'm going to make these little branches or branch, uh, tree trunks. So back to that dark brown and black color. Um, but so to make it clear, everybody, you know, everybody that watches the videos, I know, I know I say some of the things over, you know, over the videos because I just want, there's always new people watching, you know, and I want, um, I want people to know that, um, you know, I'm not here to say, oh, I know, I know what I'm doing, you know, I don't want people to think that, I want people to know why I'm really here. I'm really here because, um, I want other people to have the experiences that I had. It's pretty crazy how bad I want that for somebody else, you know? And that's what I, I don't know that I was always like that before, but I want you to have a good experience with everything, life, you know, painting. It starts here. This gives you the confidence. You wanna lose, you wanna lose weight? You wanna lose 100 pounds? Start painting. It gives you, uh, it gives you the confidence to do that, you know? Now, um, confidence and self-esteem are two different things. I feel like um, my self-esteem was removed from me at a very young age, and I don't think that I'll ever have a self-esteem ever again, and, I, and I'm okay with that. But I have confidence. So if you don't, if you're all, if you're watching, you don't have a self-esteem, you know that's all right. You know that's okay. Don't worry. It's not the end of the world. You don't need. I mean, you know, it's good to have, but if you can't have it for whatever reason, I definitely understand that for sure. But you don't need it, just have confidence, because confidence is ultimately, in my opinion, is what makes changes in, in, for you in your life and everything. It's not, uh, self-esteem doesn't make changes. Self-esteem, I don't know what the hell that self-esteem does, because I've never had it, but um, confident, be confident in your painting, confident, you know? All right, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start off on the side, because I have a little light coming from that way in the other one. That's just what happened to be fallen that day. Let's see here. All right, I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get a dark color blue and black. Blue and black, that looks pretty dark. There's some brown in there. All right, some brown. I just want this side to be nice and dark. And shroom. see that? Make you got to make the noises. Seriously, you have to make. No, I always say shroom, shroom, shroom. I I make noises when I go out and feed my goose at night too. It's crazy. I feed her every night. Um, in case anybody 
In case anybody cares, maybe you don't though. Um, here's what I do. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about my life. Let me see how this looks. All right, not too bad. I was just looking off the screen. Um, I uh, here's what I do. I get up. I get up every morning at 6 a.m. Okay. 6 a.m. I like to get up at 6 a.m. because I've also figured out that when you uh, get up at early 6 a.m. versus 8 a.m., uh, that does something um, as well to you. It just I don't know. I don't know what it does, but it does something pretty good. All right, and um, this is going to sound dumb. You should always make your bed. You should always make your bed when you get up. It's the first thing you should do because here's the deal. I'm thinking like if you listen, if you can make your bed, that's a small and a simple like task. If you can do that, then you're good. I mean, for the rest of the day, if you think about it, if you can create that one little task, finish it in the morning, you know, I feel like a sense of completion. You know, like I've done something already, and then. Um, and then I always, uh, after that, you guys don't even care about this. But I'm saying it anyways. I don't care. I wasn't going to do this live stream. So if anybody don't like it, they could just, they could just leave anyways. So here's what I do. I, I go down. I have, a, I have a whole coffee brewing thing. And I um, make like two or three cups of coffee because I don't drink Red Bull anymore. So it's okay for me to have some coffee. Um, make a bunch of coffees. And then I, I take off and then I go to work. Um, Any chances that I have in between that I'm right at the studio which where I am at right now and uh, I paint pictures and work on projects and and do all kinds of things for upcoming you know in the future that I have and uh, that's what I do and then I'll go back and I'll work and then a lot of times I'll come back here to the studio anywhere from I don't know like five six seven o'clock at night and um, I normally will leave the studio at 10 o'clock at night normally, go home, hang out with my wife, for, and then me and her talk until like 1.30 in the morning. We talk like literally like we just met, like, you know, like that whole excited thing that you get when you meet somebody. That's what I have going on for four years now. Imagine that. Um, never thought that was possible. But anyways, that's what we do. And then just pass out. And Oh, I'm sorry. I left the whole purpose of the story out. I um, My goose. So my goose eats five things of corn every night um, and I got to tell you if if there's any anxiety that I have in this current life that I'm living it's finding corn if anybody's on here that happens to be a farmer that like grows corn in a warmer climate um, get in touch with me because I would buy a literally a truckload like a tractor and trailer load literally I would send Niles to go pick it up because he has a truck a tractor and trailer so if anybody's a farmer let me know because my goose loves corn so I sit out there and talk to her for normally like 20, 30 minutes. And uh, we talk, you know, and I just kind of see how her day was and all that. And, you know, she lets me know if there was uh, any unwanted, uh, you know, animal visitors coming in through the backyard. Or she keeps me up to date on stuff. So, that was, uh, hey, I love animals. I, I love, love, love animals more than I can, uh, more than I can describe. I don't know how many saw the picture of the squirrel on my hand. He was on the filbert. I don't know how many of you guys saw that, but um, that was a real picture. It was a very real picture. And um, I have a thing for animals, and they like me as well. Okay, we, um, I didn't see, I didn't put stuff in here because I want to put some light color. So you don't always have to fill the whole tree in, okay? You just don't have to. So you could leave blank negative space and put the light colors in. So now I'm just formulating a color that looks that looks about right. So probably yellow ochre and white and a little bit of that dark sienna is always a nice little tree tone. I'm not gonna put the highest highlight on here, but I'm gonna put some nice light color in and let you see what that does. So, you know what? Hold on. Ugh. I do want to just, I'm going to grab this fan brush real quick. I just want to pull some of that color over a little bit more. Tiny bit more. Like that, yeah. There's not much paint. I can still see through it, but that's actually dark down there. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, so here's this. So I'm going to do 
just going to try to I'm going to try to make this a little bit more bright for the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to stick to this outside edge right here. All right. And I don't want to go down the whole tree. All right. But I want to go in like little spots, um, you know, similar to the other one that you saw. So, for example, these two trees are together when you're putting light on uh, something like this. You see how it's coming? See how it stops right there? because I want to put this trunk in front, you know, so it's going to stop. It's not going to go all the way in that little u shape thing right there, all right? So I'm just dropping some light, and then I'm going to kind of blend this together and, you know, do a couple different things here. I just want to get some of the basic shapes and, you know, color, whatever, in here, and then we can kind of work with it. Now, before I move on, let me do this. I just want to, since I have this color here, the light's kind of blasting through here, at least it is on the other one, so it must have been that day, I don't know. So I just want to put a little bit there. All right, I'm going to wipe this filbert brush off here. And then, actually, let me start here. Let me just kind of, see, I take it and I take some of that color. It's simple, you can drag it. Think about like, all right, so if you're, if you're a beginner, here's something that you could do. Just use this fan, this fan brush right here. Um, think about the shape of a tree, right? This is just, I'm going to demonstrate this. See that color, how it was pulling it? Watch this. Pull it. Watch this. I'm going down and over. Watch. See that? I'm trying to, sh I don't even know if you can see that. I'm trying to show you the shapes of a tree. Like the shape. You can, you can sort of pull like little lines and like the round to give it that, um, it's just an illusion. I, I don't even know if, I really don't know if you're able to see that, but um, it may, uh, it may, may help you to do that. So let's go back here. Let me try to hold the brush down here so you can see. So I'm just gonna go like this and put some of this, make little zigzag lines and, you know, different, don't make all the same things. You know, put little different things in, okay? And be quick. You know, quick is good in some cases. When you, uh, sorry, I have to get back to you later on that one. Um, if you, you know, just do randomness, it works, you know, it works. And then whew, make little things there. You know, and then we can figure out other stuff here. Now, I got to put some dark color back into this tree, but I like to get those light colors. I'm going to get some yellow ochre, a little bit more of that yellow ochre. And then something like that. Just put some there. I just want to get some of that color in. And then I'll go put the dark back on it. Yeah, there we go. Because maybe, I don't know, maybe some of the light comes through this way too. Who knows? All right. Before I go any further, dark color time. Let's get some dark color in here. You know, I'm super excited. I think uh, I'm going to try, hopefully Sunday, hopefully me and uh, Niles get to go exploring because that's something that um, I'm figuring out that I'm really passionate about, exploring things. So that'll have to be something uh, that I'll have to keep you updated on. But, uh, but I'm definitely uh, ready to go. I'm inspired to go for sure. And I got to say, I mean it when I say it. Niles is like, I, don't, I think I haven't seen comments here in about 20, 30 minutes, but if you're still here, Niles, you are uh, you're a good dude, man. And uh, always be considered one of my best friends in the world. I don't talk to anybody, barely. There's like uh, just two, maybe two people. But um, you don't find better people than Niles right here. You know, he's... Uh, Give you the shirt off his back. I do the same. So if you're listening, I'd take a bullet for you, man. You already know that. You know it. Just don't don't put that to the test. I mean, I'm just you know I would. You know, if you're even, I don't even know if you're still here. Um, if anybody's asking any questions, I am not rude. I'm a very nice person. I live my life to please others. But I just honestly feel that when I'm doing these demonstrations. 
I need to focus on the demonstration and not focus on the comments. So I just want to make that clear. I don't want anybody to feel left out or upset or, you know, because I, because I care about your feelings. If I don't even know you, I do. I really do. I care about everybody's feelings. So uh, if I'm not answering you, I'm just trying to get my focus here on, you know, this, this demonstration because, you know, I think of it like this. If I'm watching somebody do a video, whether it's a live stream video or whatever, I really don't want to watch them interacting with comments. And that's just my opinion, okay? And I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree on that. So just so you know where my head's at. Just put a few more things here. You know. So I just wanted to make it clear. So if anybody, uh, if anybody sees anybody asking questions, if somebody could kindly kindly let them know please that would be that would be uh, much appreciated much much appreciated so what do you think how you like my hair <laughs> can you even see it can you see it? yeah yep see it it's getting long i'm not cutting it i'm not cutting it either if i ever do cut it it'll go i'll donate it for you know like a something cancer or something you know what i mean like one of those things but i'm not cutting it um and I don't know why. I don't know why. I think because people have started to identify me as, oh, you know that guy? You know, the one with the ponytail? <laughs> don't want to ruin the image. Don't want to ruin that. All right, so let's do this. This is where, yeah, I got to get some, I got to get some more pure color in here. That's what I'm missing. That's what I'm missing. Um, I need to make some room. My palette's getting a little messy here. So, anyways, I hope, you know, and I, I'm going to read, I'll read comments later when the video's over. So, you know, maybe you should let me know. Um, maybe you should let me know if you understand what I was saying about, about interacting, you know, with comments during the middle of something like this. You know, I love talking to people, but I also, I love doing this here. So, let me know your thoughts if you care to. I'm going to put some of this pure color in there because treat, those trees there that day, man, they were so beautiful. And they had these little, there we go. That's what we're missing. Some of that color. This is a dark sienna right here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Brings it right to life. Look. I'm just dragging my problems away right there. Literally. Literally. Mmm. Tasty. Tasty. Dark sienna is a nice color. Really nice color. Thanks, Bob, for that too. All right, wipe that off and you can use the knife too. And I did this in the other one too. You, um, can you boom, run that blue, black, and some brown. Run out of uh, black and brown here. I'm just gonna get a little bit of this blue, black, and brown on the knife. And let me just start over here real quick because I'm gonna, I just want texture in this tree. And you may not see all that yet, but it's there texture see there it is put some highlights on here in a minute it just gives it that good barky bark texture all right there we go go to the other side and put some in here hello nice to, nice to meet you look he's looking good he is looking good mm. Oh yeah, I like that tree. I like it. I like it. All right, dark sienna, black, a bunch of light color, a little bit of mud, a little bit of whatever. Whatever feels good is what it is. Now watch this, a little blue. Get some blue in there, this little shadow color. You can put reflected light on the back side of trees. And uh, it generally looks nice. Oh, that was too much paint. All right, there we go. Let me just test it here, because I don't think I did. No, nope, not light enough. Not quite enough. Let me go. Ugh, pile there. Get some more white. Let me try some of this blue. Thalo blue is a pretty color, very, very pretty color. I, um, 
I actually tasted it once. Um, don't do that, but it just, uh, it's so good. <laughs> so good. Don't eat it. Look, look, this is just for the purpose of the camera. Reflected light. This is not what I did in the other one. Okay. This just gives you a little, a look, if you will, of some sort, you know, something like that. And then you can go right, use the knife. And it's just like putting, it's like putting snow on a mountain, sort of. You could just do all kinds of shapes and it's supposed to be a, a shadow color, even though it's a, it's a very, a very light color, if you will. And it works. And here's the good thing. It doesn't matter. Let's say you want to put red there, you know, do it. Just do it. You know, it doesn't matter. You can do what you want. And that's what I like doing. I like doing what I want to do. Um, not even what I want to do. I like doing what I, what feels, what feels good. All right. So what I'm doing, what I'm going to do is, I said this a little earlier, um, I noticed, um, well, there's a couple of, uh, you know, the channel members, I'm going to do channel member live streams for, for the members, and we'll, we'll go over each thing. And I think the great part is it's going to be such a small group of people that I'll, I'll be able to talk with you guys, like, through the whole thing and answer questions as I'm doing it. You know, somebody asks a question, I can look at it, um, and here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you right now. With the channel uh, member live stream setup, I gotta fix this real quick. With the channel member live stream setup, what's gonna happen is we're gonna do we're gonna do um, three live streams every single month, minimum, probably more, but a minimum of three, you know, that you can count on per month. Everything colors like you won't have to wonder what color I'm using because I'm gonna be able to take the time and I'm gonna lift the palette up. I'm gonna say. Oh, what's that, uh, what's that bill? What'd you say? What'd you want to know? Oh, you want to know what I used here? You're not going to have to because I'm going to show you. And that's the purpose of what that is. And that's great because that's going to allow me to spend the actual time and do it. All right. So maybe pass that along to anybody else if uh, anybody's wondering that. But um, I don't like holding the palette. I don't like holding it just don't like holding it. So this is a demonstration. All my videos on YouTube are free. I just don't want to hold it. So that's where I'm at. Cause a lot of people ask that and I guarantee you there's five or six people or 20 or 30 that are wondering that. And, um, channel memberships is where that's happening. We're starting in about nine days from today. Okay. So now I see this has too much texture. I have to go ahead. I have to, I got to fix this. I'm gonna wipe my face off. Right. I got to smooth this a little bit. So I'm going to try to grab a three quarter or a one inch or some kind of nice soft brush here because the other one just, it's just softer. It's softer. And I want to get that effect here since this is going a little bit. I mean, I thought it was going to be longer, you know, but because the other one did take longer, I'm going to smooth this. See, I'm going to, I'm not messing it up, but I'm, I'm, I'm smoothing it out. <laughs> Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. But yeah, like, you know, the, uh, you know, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some more highlights on, but I actually, I have to do this because this is what looks right. You know, but channel, uh, the channel member thing is good. It's just good. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna really, I'm not gonna promote it. People find it, they wanna go there, it's great. I, I wanna keep a small group of people there um, cause it's just so much better that way. But, um, there's a couple different um, like tiers on there, but the bottom, it's like $9.99 a month or something. It's cheap, it's dirt cheap. You know, I could just sell all my, I could, every video I make on YouTube, I could just put three minutes of it up and show you the highlights and give you a, a link if you wanted to buy the link for, you know, 15 bucks or whatever, but I, you know, I'll never do that, so. But the channel membership page is great because, you know, it's cheap, it's nine bucks, of $9.99. And, I, you know, anybody who does go on there, when we start, like I said, it's going to be probably the end of next week. Maybe next weekend um, is when I'll have the first one up. But uh, I'm going to wait until a little group of people actually gets on there. 
and every single person will gain value because not for nothing, but I got to say it, I say a lot of stuff, you know, that would be considered like, I don't even know. I don't even want to, I don't want to say that, but anyways, people will get good value out of it. And that's something that, you know, I'm super confident in because there's a lot of things I don't do here on and for the, in the open world, because I just don't, and I will do them there. So everybody, you know, deserves value. I'm just kind of just laying my life out right here in front of your eyes. See that? See what I'm doing? Laying my life out. See all the, it's all, you know, up and down. I'm gonna put some dark in here. Now this, look, this is a little bump. I didn't know that existed, right? But now it does. So there's like cool stuff that you can do. This is so good. I mean, this is just such a great experience. I don't, I don't know any other way to tell you. I really do not know any other way to tell you how great of an experience this is once you just let yourself, let yourself, let yourself go and do it. I gotta get some more black on here because I don't have enough black is what I don't have. I'm gonna put just a little bit of dark in there. All right, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna ruin it at the same time. I do wanna put a little dark just for contrast purposes, you know, on, mainly on this guy over here. Gotta put some uh, contrast on old Henry here, you know, whatever his name is here. The tree on the right, the, my right. All right, get some dark color. And I just wanna go like this. See? Now, I'm not going to kill all of the blue. I just want it some right where you can see it. Okay, that's a hell of a tree. I mean, that's got real bark on it. That actually has literal, real bark on it. I'm going to wipe this knife off here real quick. Let me step back and have a look. Little, little tiny, I don't want to ruin the blue because uh, I think I like that. I just want to put, I just want people to be able to see, oh, that's a beautiful color. I don't even know how the hell that happened, but there it is. You see, it's stuff like that right there. That's like a violet or some madness that just happened. It's just great. It's just so great because every time you do something, it's just going to come out even better. Uh, I'm forgetting a branch that comes off of here. So let me grab the filbert, put the knife down. I have so much fun doing this. So much fun doing this. I just, I'll uh, just, you know, just a warning. Every video I ever make for the rest of my life, however long that's going to be, I'll say a lot of the, uh, sim you know, similar things. I want you, my biggest reason, my biggest reason that I put full length videos on YouTube the biggest reason that I do that is because I want you to know that it's all right. It's okay. People, you know, people mess up stuff, you know, and it happens and it's okay. You know what I mean? It's just all right. Don't, don't worry. You know, have fun. And I hope that, uh, I don't, you know, I don't even, I'm not even looking at num the numbers, the comp, nothing tonight because I'm focusing on what I'm here to do. And that's a demonstration, not in a rude way at all because I'm a nice person. I'll read the comments later and uh, I'll go from there. But, but I want you to have fun doing this. Like you just saw me scrub circles into this painting, right? I scrubbed a bunch of circles in here, right? You saw that, right? We didn't even highlight yet. Bunch of circles, what? Come on, what do you got? You know, circles, really? You know, look at this. I mean, I'm making branches with a filbert brush. Like, you know, you can do things, but here's, here's the, uh, Here's the million dollar, it's not even a question, it's a million dollar answer. If you, if you paint, if you're in here painting, right? And you are scared and you think you're, you believe you're gonna mess up, you're gonna mess up. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're gonna mess up, there's no doubt. It's happening. So you might as well just, you might as well stop right then, right there, that's it, it's over. Because you've already convinced yourself you know, that you're, you're going to mess up. So if you start to paint a picture and you say, Hey, I'm not going to mess up. I'm good. It doesn't matter what happens because it's fixable. 
you're in good shape. And, and that's like, just hear what I'm telling you. I'm not here to sell you like a car, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to sell you a car. I'm not trying to sell you anything. You know, I'm try, trying to sell you a new, a new attitude, a free one though. Seriously though, honest to God, no, no joking. I'm not joking. If you believe you're gonna mess up, you will. And it's proven, not just with pain, with anything. With anything. I'm gonna add an extra branch into his life because I feel like it. So watch this. This guy comes right across him. See this? And he goes like this. Drops down. I just wanted to show you. Okay. Now, this branch does not exist in real life, but he exists in our hearts. Right? No, seriously, it could be a branch. I don't know. Maybe I missed it. Maybe that's really there. That'd be some that'd be some funny stuff, wouldn't it? And I'll do little liner branches and stuff like this. But getting some more dark sienna, brown, black, blue, green, purple, orange, yellow, tan. Hello. Hello. I'm going to just do one more little for later. We'll catch up with him later there with the liner brush and we'll put little squigglers on him and let me stand back and see. You know, so like these trees are like they're just doing their thing, you know, they're just kind of and they're they're serving their purpose. And if you really, you want to know why I didn't mess them up? Do you want to know why I didn't mess these trees up? Because, you know, I told myself, I can make these trees. And I can make them. No big deal. I just feel like he's missing a little, you know, a little something here, too. Why not? Since we're in that whole creative mindset right now. I told myself it's no big deal. These are, you know, these are really, these are really no big deal at all. See? we can make them that's all and we'll do it and that's why I made these trees the way they are they're good they're as far as like not messing up put some dark color there everywhere you think there needs to be a shadow if the lights coming from this way maybe you know there's gonna be some more shadow here there there wherever you know, think about those things all right think about them I gotta put a little bit more light and then we'll move on move on to some highlights Yeah, I'm just wiping the old filbert off here. All right, here we go with some, I think it's just some white, I think. Just straight white with a little, hmm. What does Indian yellow look like? It's bright. I don't know what this is gonna do, but we're gonna find out. I just put a little tad of something Indian yellow. This just looks yellow. Hold on, I gotta get some more. Just wanted to try to because there's like light coming right here, so. Oh, hello, nice to meet you. Look at this guy. Oh yeah, where'd he come from, see? Where did he come from? He wasn't there earlier. Yellow ochre, all of the nice bright colors. Put some there. He runs right down into there, see? You can just add little coolness everywhere. You know, it just gives you that idea that something's happening there, you know, some light shining through. And then I, I think in my other picture, I've got some, let me do this, watch this, get some straight. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. He goes like this. Do you see that light shining through there, too? As well, as well. He's just, he's blasting right through there. He comes up like this, comes right up there. And technically speaking, the light would be hitting him here, here as well. This guy, you know, it, right? Maybe. Yeah, it would be hitting him for sure. Just had to think about that for a minute. But it wouldn't be hitting it past. Um, you know what? I'm going to put something there just so you can see the branch. This little stubby here is behind him, so he ain't going nowhere. Let's find the three-quarter flat thingy. I just want to flatten this guy's life up a little bit. Oops, too much, see? See right there, I did too much, but I didn't panic because I'm not worried about it. Because we'll fix it, fix whatever we need to fix. Or sometimes it'll come out better, you know, than what you anticipated or what you thought. Um, I gotta fix this loop, see? Fix that. Let me go back to the filbert. 
and some dark color. Just get some black and some brown, and I just want it to kind of define right here. See? Remember I said that little uh, trunk right there? I wanted him to, I wanted him to go somewhere this way, and that's what I just did. All right. So you see where the light's coming through there. So now, simple. Wipe in the filbert off. I'm just going to scoop up some, you know, lighter color, some nice yellow, white, Indian yellows, whatever, bright, brightness. Now this is going to help. The reason I'm using some of this, little bit of this, because I just want it to stand out the color a little bit. This will help the color stand out. Now, and I said this earlier, I'm, I'm going a little, you know, extra, you know, with like the brightness I'm, for the camera, the purpose of the camera. Doesn't have to be that bright. Probably wasn't in real life, you know. But, you know, I'm thinking something here that just kind of comes to mind. Let's say, um, you, you know, you're working on this tree, right? And let's just say for an example that you're right where I'm at right now. And you stand back. And let's say you don't like it. Let's say you don't like the tree. You know, you don't like it. It's no big deal, right? It happens to the best of us. So I want to show you something. And this is very, very, very important. Because you don't have to like what you do, but you have to be confident in how to fix it. So let's say you don't like it. It's super easy. See? Watch. I'm not, and, I, and I'm not doing this to try to make anybody, you know, panic or anything like that. I'm just trying to show you that you can just simple. And if you don't want to make your tree bigger, use the small edge of the knife. And we're just having some scrapings going on, okay? And it's no big deal. Watch this. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Scraping it away. Catch this guy here in the corner here. Yeah. See? It's no big deal. Like I said, I, I just, this is important. This is very important, you know? Very, very, very important. Because it's, it's able to be done. And that's why it's important. And that's why I'm showing you. I just scraped the, I just scraped this tree. And I know you guys saw me do it. But there's a purpose. There's a purpose behind this tree scraping. I'm just going to take this flat brush real quick, and I'm going to I'm just going to kind of kind of smooth out, you know, my mess here just a little bit. Any you know, leftover paint, oils, whatever. Just giving it a little massage or whatever. See? All right. That's what I'm doing. Bring this down. I'm just trying to show you. All right, now, now let me do this. This is almost like when you make a mountain, you know, and you have your base color. You know, you, you pull the brush and you pull it, you know, before you put your next highlight color on. That's exactly what's happening right here, okay? That's what's happening. Okay, so now, 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 let me go back to this filbert here. And what I'd like to do is, you know what, as a matter of fact, let me just do this. Let me just grab, let me just take this paper towel here real quick. I just want to, just because, I don't know why, I'm just going to take this, I want to hit the side here real quick. I want to do this. I just wanted to wipe that off just to get some of the oils off, you know? And you could do this too. You could definitely, I mean, if you're scraping your trees off, why not? Just do it. Ugh. Okay, back to business. All right, smooth him out. See, I'm just doing whatever. All right, black and some brown. This is just black, brown, maybe a little blue also as well. I want to put some dark color. All right. Some dark color. Now, watch this. I'm going to start up here. I'm going to follow the edge. I'm showing you how to remake your trees. What is essentially what I'm doing here. If you don't like a tree, this is how I do it. I mean, is it the right way? I have no idea. Um, is it what works for me? Yep, absolutely. Does it make me feel good? Always. Always. All right? It's very important. 
Very, very important. Now, the color that is left underneath, I'm actually going to leave some of that because in my opinion, uh, that color now serves as like a, an undercolor, like a mid-tone, if you will, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to leave some of that. All right. You know, I'm not going to just cover the whole thing in dark. So you see the tree starts to come to life a little bit. So grab another paper towel here right quick. And and just, you know what, because I'm just in that mood. I'm in that mood and I'm doing this one too. I really am because I, I wanted a, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing with my life. This is what's happening. See you, bud. See you. Sorry. Ouch. Sorry for scraping you. Didn't mean to. All right. Same thing. Let's go back here and do what we were just doing there. All right. Same old thing. I mean, if I did, I might as well do the other one. You know what I mean? Because they're, they're not even going to look like they should be in the same forest if I don't, <laughs> you know? All right. This one's there. Goes down. Okay, make some little bumps and things. Hmm. Now, if you want, see that branch? It could go behind that tree now. I don't know. Oh, I got paint in my eye. I don't know how that is even possible. Why do I, how do you do that? It was on my hand. I don't know how I ended up in my eyeball. Jeez. All right. So, back to the dark real quick. Let's make this a painless process for you, okay? Dark, brown and black, a little blue. Blue helps, all right? You can even put a little crimson in there. That really darkens it up, you know what I mean? All right. So, um, this side. Leaving some of that under color in. And listen, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to just make, you know, a mess or more work. I'm just trying to, trying to show you if, you, if you scrape your tree off, no big deal. We'll fix it, okay? If you don't like it, we'll fix it. It's not a big deal. It's, re it's just really not. All right, so let's move along to oh, white. Wait, wait, wait. I'm almost out of white paint palette. And I just dropped that. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right, back. Back in business. Get some white here, just squirt it out. Okay. Now I'm going to try to simplify this second round here, okay? Because you learn something. If you scrape, if you do scrape your tree off, just think about like you got to learn something from it. Okay. Don't just do it to do it like I did it. I'm just doing it because I want to show you. But you'll learn something. Why didn't you? You know, number one, why did you scrape it? Because something was too muddy or this or that. You know, and that's normally the reason. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Back in business. Right. Right. Watch. Simple. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. We'll, we'll decide it, you know, what this uh, branch here is doing in a minute, whether he's going behind or in front or whatever. So I'm just doing little, little things here. See, I'm just. You can drag the brush like this, you know, it doesn't really, there's no real exact way you have to do anything. All right, get some more color on here, and then we'll just go right over here to, because I, I guess, you know what, yeah, the sun's coming here for some, you know, whatever, he's hitting, hitting the inside or something, I don't know. It's a sunny day, he's just doing whatever he wants. That's what's happening. And that's the great part, like, here's the deal. If you want to put highlights in the wrong area, go for it, doesn't matter, it's yours. It's yours. You know, that's what I like. I like this so much. I love that, actually, because it's so true. You know, you could do whatever, you know, whatever you want. You know? See, a little, I'm just adding just a few little things here, like this. Um, oh, let me wipe this off here and get some dark color real quick. I can go right back. See, just wipe the, I'm using the same filbert the whole time. So I'll go back into some dark color brown you know brown and black right and then I'll go like this 
See, re reinvent this guy right here. Okay, I just, just he just got, I just redid his entire life in two seconds. So he's off to a good start. He didn't look too healthy before, and now he does. See, he's good. Put a little light on him, a little light into his life because he deserves light as well. Simple, simple stuff here. Super easy. Super easy. Drag this up like this. And you know what? Maybe this little bump in the ground right here. See this? Watch this. Maybe this gets a little bit of light because maybe some of it's uh, kind of doing it, you know, shining through and showing through. Okay? I'm just trying to show you that there, there could be a ledge here. You could drop this ledge, you know, down like this. It kind of, you know what I mean? Just, uh, you know, whatever. You don't have to. You don't have to. I was just trying to show you things you can do. You can do. Now, um, let me get a little bit of dark sienna. Dark sienna. And I want, I desperately want some dark sienna in this tree because the, the trees in real life were, were this color. And this is actually a really good color. I like this a lot. You know, it's just a beautiful, beautiful tree color, especially when it's mixed properly with, uh, you know, the other colors. It just looks good. It looks very good. Okay. You know, I thought I was going to stop by now and maybe do a part two, but I'm just going to go for a minute, you know, a little bit. Just get some more of this in here just because it feels so good. It's feeling good. I'm feeling fantastic. Fanastic. There we go. Little dark sienna. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Let's put some. This branch needs it too because he is right there. And then we can put a little dark in there and then call it a day. A little dark sienna down here too. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's some roots here. I don't know. All right, let me look at this real quick. Oh, cool. That looks so cool. All right, now we just need some of the dark color now. Dark color. So we're going to go back to blue and black. Blue and black are just great, you know, for a nice dark color. You can put crimson in there. But now I'm really going to sit here and think about, I keep reloading because it will mix. It will mix, you know, and cause all your beautiful little colors to go away, you know. Some right here, this because this branch here, we want to define this branch. See, that's what I just did. Put some there, okay. That's a big clump. I gotta ugh, get that out of there. Something like that. Okay, it looks good so far. Nice little texture right here. Look at that. Nice contrast right there. Find a light spot, right? And put little contrasting things in near it. And sometimes that does good. You know, like right here. See? There was the light. Watch this. It goes down. Drag it down. Drag it down. A little bump right there. Just saying, just showing you that this wasn't really there, but it could be. It could be there. You know, if I um, go out there with a shovel tonight, that will be there. This guy right here, this little bump. Maybe I'll do that. As soon as I get home, I just want to do that. I'll go dig a, dig a little thing here and put a little nice little thing on them. <laughs> but um, I, really, uh, I really like this place because it has a lot of meaning, you know. Has a lot of meaning. So important what I said the other day. I was telling uh, everybody, do not be one of those parents, please. Do not be one of those parents that when your when your child comes running in, running in the house, and you know, dad, 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 I want to plead, I want to go here. Do not be one of them dads. It's like no, 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 no. I'm I'm tired. I just got home from work. Don't don't do that. You know. Um, now I, you know, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and say that's the dad that I was, but when I, you know, when I had massive amount of 
self issues. You know, I didn't want to do much and the little bit that I missed hurts me. So I was hoping that um, somebody would take that advice and your kid comes running through the door tonight, jump up and be like, absolutely, let's go, let's do it. And that's how I am. That's how I am with my kids now, even though they're, they're grown, you know, they're, 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 they're grown up, you know, but um, they want to do something. I am on it. I'm on it. I'm like, what are you waiting for? Let's go. We should have been gone already, you know, so because you ain't getting time back. You're never getting time back. And that hurts. Believe me, that hurts. It hurts. So I was hoping that one person, one person um, would actually see that one person and would do something about it you know and that would just i'll never know of course but it would damn if it wouldn't make my freaking day you know just one person if i knew one person um had been experiencing that and they changed i'm getting some light blue color i think i'm going to use it for something i do want that little beautiful shadow on the edge You see, I was too, too concerned about figuring out, trying to figure out, you know, what's, what was wrong with me, you know, when really, to be honest, when you're a parent, it's not about you. You know, you don't have, you know, it's not about you, especially when you have, you know, when you have kids. But um, it's about the kids, man. I wish I could have some of that time back, you know, but it's never coming back and that's okay because it's not okay, but it's, I mean, when I say it's okay, it's because I have the best relationship now with them, with my kids. And uh, just so great to, uh, to be able to not miss it all, you know? And I got my shit together in time. Thanks to this. Big part. Huge right here. Hence the reason I'm here telling you to do this. Just a little more blue and then we're gonna move we're gonna move along. Just a little shadow. I like these little shadow thingies in here. They're they're very they're very relaxing, you know. They are very, very relaxing. Okay. All right. Um, let me real quickly just do this filbert a quick wipe. I just wiped it on my hand, actually. Move that out of the way. I'm going to do something here because I just want to get it out of the way right now before it gets uh, forgotten about. Okay, let me... <clears throat> Pants are falling down because I do not wear a waist size 38 anymore. I wear a 32 waist like you care about that, but I'm just just throwing it out there just because I was pulling my pants up. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, in, just to clarify, in, uh, in 2016, my waist size was 42. So I'm going to put some branches on here. I'm, I am using a little bit of thinner to thin this down. Just, just makes my life a little easier. I'm all about making my life easy. Uh, mainly up here is where we got to pay attention because that's where people are going to see or not probably not this uh, This painting is going to probably go right in you know right in the box um, With the other 200 that are painted like this so And I'm okay with that because I don't know I just don't know back to that whole thing I don't know why I would paint so many pictures and never show anybody. I don't. I don't know why. To be to be seriously honest with you, I don't know if it's just supposed to happen like that for a reason. I mean, everything does happen for a reason. I'm a firm, firm believer in that. Um, but it'll be interesting to say the least one day to show. Um, maybe to show them someday if you know if it ever gets called upon to happen, that would be great. Because one of the things I can say is that they're not like the paintings that you see me do here. They're just, it's just different. I don't know. They're, they're landscapes and subjects like that. I just, they're the ones that I've sat back and really just got lost in myself, you know, by myself. And uh, they became part of the, uh, the No Share collection. I don't know. 
or call me crazy. I, you know, I never deny that either. But um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But you know, if you're here and you're following me, you know, the day that that does happen, you know, my uh, YouTube and Facebook family will be the first to know, to see them. And I decided uh, not only was I not going to show them, I was uh, never selling them, ever. They're, uh, they're pictures that I, uh, that I made when I, you know, I tell you how much painting helps you and heals you. I made those when I needed to be healed, you know, or helped or felt better. Those are the ones I sat down and, spent, just like I said, spent hours and hours and hours you know, making these things and, you know, and to be honest, they're much nicer than these, you know, so I don't know, I don't know where my head's at with that, but it's not about what's nice and what's not nice, you know. It's about emotion, feeling. I love, uh, I'm a very emotional person, very emotional. These branches look pretty cool, huh? A little, see, a little cool little oh mm, nice hello well so nice to meet you look at that that's a good little branch right there i'm okay i can live with that he needs a little stick there because i'm sure there were some of these ones you know hanging around you know somebody asked me recently i'll do it actually i'll make it Let's make one right here. Take a look at this. See that little stick branch, right? I'm just kind of going over what I just made. See that? It's like a dead stick or a dead branch. Somebody said to me recently, they said, because they could identify one of my pictures. They were like, why do you always have that? It's like these dead branch in there. And um, I figured it out because I put that there as a reminder to remind myself how dead I was inside for so many years. That's a symbol of that, just in case I, you know, in case you, anybody wants to know the reason that I like to put those little jobbies in there. It's a reminder to me how dead I was inside. Let's go to some highlights. Um, so. All right, here we go. So I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think too much is what it is. But let me get some color here. Oh, I got to scrape some of this palette. That's, that's where I'm at. Yeah, see, if on the members thing, we would have had an intermission by now already. Believe that. So, um, if you are new to the member channel members page, make sure you know just just stay tuned, hang in there because uh, within the next you know you know one to two weeks maximum, we are going to have um, our stream. You know, we'll start doing members live streams, and they will be left up for the members. So, in the event that you miss it or whatever, don't worry. You can go back and watch it. The only thing is. Um, you know, I won't be, I won't be on there live at that point if you miss it to answer questions then, but you'll have two or three more other ones for the month. So, you know, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a good experience. You know, it's, it's really going to be a good experience. Um, it's a lot more you can do over there, you know, it's cause it's like a, it's private, you know what I mean? It's very private and it's just, you could talk about things and I'm looking forward you know, to the family of people um, over there as well. So, I'm looking forward to it. Um, all right, so I just cleaned that off. That's what I was doing. I just wanted to clean that off just so I can get a little highlight going here. And I just didn't want it to, I didn't want it to really mix too much. You know, I don't mind when paint mixes, but when I'm working with yellow, I try to just, you know, I try to be accordingly. All right. All righty then. Scoop some of my yellow right there. But it's going to accomplish a number of things. It's going to, you know, answer answer a lot of questions, answer a lot of problems, and answer a lot of concerns that even I had moving forward into the future. You know, so it's a it's a win win situation, and you know. Here's the best way to look at it. If you uh, if you can't if you if you can afford thirty cents a day, go over there because you'll get value. If not, don't go over there. You know, um, 
but it's just it's some one of those things that's necessary needs to be done and will be done and it's it's just important because uh, you know I, I spend my life I'm passionate about helping others um, I got to help myself too you know and that's uh, that's how people get burnt and bogged burnt down and bogged out whatever however the hell you say that you know so take care of yourself at the same time it's okay to help people but take care of yourself don't forget that it's important it's a very very important one take care of yourself too and that's something that I've always lacked in you know and I've been trying recently the last three years or whatever four years however many I'm trying to take care of myself a little bit trying to make sure that I'm okay you know because I do have a family awesome family okay I'm just getting I'm just just mixing up a green color and that's the other thing so like right here I you know um, to, for me to sit right here and tell you exactly what I'm doing it's gonna take it, it's just gonna take time it's just there's a time and place for that and it's not here um, it's just not appropriate right now so because you know some people are just watching some are this some are that you know everybody's here for a different purpose so got to kind of be appropriate with your actions me I'm speaking about myself here all right this is one of my favorite part here um, so I'm just gonna let me just try to tap and see what that does for us. <clears throat> now I, I gotta leave a, you know a lot of dark in here because see I'm just like whatever yeah just tapping. Now you could use like that three quarter brush or what you could use whatever you use your damn finger if you want to doesn't matter um, doesn't matter what you use it's the placement the brush doesn't matter people ask me all the time oh where do I get the best brushes. It, it, it wherever you know you probably got them in your house right now that's why I re, that's why I'm not selling brushes anymore I don't want to be in that market I don't want to sell my brushes because my brushes ain't the ones I made they're no better than anybody else's you know what I mean you can go to the dollar store and buy stuff there that'll work just as good if not better it depends on how you use that brush and, and your placement it's super important so just try to remember that you know what I mean the placement the placement of where you put things is is what matters you know and this is that point of the live stream right now where you're going to start to see you know you're going to see a little you know thing is com coming together a little bit you know maybe maybe not maybe it's not going to come together maybe i'll jack it up i don't know but the placement is important let me just keep saying that because it is the placement okay and i don't want to go overboard because there's a lot of dark into this in this painting you know so out of dark I'm gonna step back and have a look for a second because that's that's important too if you don't step back and take a look at your painting um, you're in trouble if you don't do that you know I can almost assure you that it doesn't matter who you are how you know how long or how this that you've been doing this type of painting if you look at it close it just it looks rough you know they look rough so don't let that uh, don't let that ruin you all right, they tend to look rough and that's okay. Step back six feet and take a look at your illusion <laughs> that you created. This is what you want to do. I'm just mixing my life away down here. Mixing my life away. So I'm going to come over here. We had this beautiful little guy here. I'm just going to make some little things going on. And there, there's little things here. Something like this. This is just a, you know, somewhat of a, it's not the brightest color, but it's something. And we can, we're going to come back and, you know, in areas and we're going to start to do, you know, on the edges of these little things because the light was shining through that day. It was definitely shining through good. And I wanted to try to make that, um, what am I trying to say? I was, was going to try to show that. That's what I wanted to try to show that day, you know, when I made that. So. Placement is everything, guys. Placement. Just like, uh, just like placing bets on a blackjack table. That makes no sense. Take that back. Don't gamble. Don't gamble. It's bad for you. <laughs> Placement is good. Okay, you see? There's a couple highlights. And you see the trees are some tucked back into the middle of nowhere. All right? And remember, I'm, I'm, I'm being very honest with you. I'm here. I'm not here doing what I'm doing because I know what what's right to mix, 
I'm not here because of that. I'm just doing what feels right. That's what I'm doing. And that's why I'm showing you. I'm trying to show you what, what I think feels right. Okay, so, so how do you think about it? If somebody ever tries to argue with that, or if they say, oh, this is wrong, it doesn't matter. It's not wrong. Maybe it's technically wrong, right? But it doesn't feel wrong. It's not wrong because it doesn't feel wrong. It feels right. So that's always right. So remember that. Remember that. If it feels right, do it. Because nobody can ever tell you it's wrong. You know? <clears throat> One of these days, I just hope, I just want to, I want to be responsible for giving people that motive. They want to paint, you know? That's where I wish, that's where I want to be, you know? That's where, that's my goal. I want to be the guy that can get you to pick up a paintbrush and you've never done it before and you pick it up and you just, and you do it because you're, you're confident and you're not worried about messing up. That's who, that's who I want to be. That's what I want my name to be affiliated with in, in the future. That's it. It's not a lot to ask for, I don't think. I try hard, you know, I'm honest. I really want that for you. I really, really want that for you. It's just so important to me um, because there's so many more things that come along with that that I don't even have to explain to you. You'll just see them as it happens. So that's my hopes and wishes for you. You see, I'm just kind of taking my time and you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not flying through, leaving a lot of dark and I'm just adding a little, see look, here's a little, he's thirsty. See, I'm getting a drink. <laughs> my, go my goose loves this little spot here. I brought her here a few times and um, she loves this place, man. It's just so, so relaxing and that's another reason I thought it'd be a good little place uh, to paint. All right, let me step back and have a look here real quick at what's going on. Okay, so there we got that. Now I'm going to take my focus here off of the... Um, tree here for a minute or the tree the, the the background trees okay let me do this real quickly take this filbert get a little bit of this uh, what do we got here maybe some yellow ochre and some white I just want to do lights coming this way I just want to do one thing here I just want to do a few little you know a few little hot don't like don't overdo your you know your highlights when you're when you're making them because because believe me, it's easy. It's easy to overdo your highlights. Don't do it. You know, you have nice dark, nice contrast in there. Okay. Don't because you will kill them and it won't be good. Now, for example, um, you could just leave it like this or, you know, if you want, you could just, you know, ever so carefully just drag a little bit of it this way. See, you give it a little whoop. See that looks like a rock now. See? Just those little shapes makes it look like a rock. It's an illusion. It's not. It's a slob, slab of paint. It's all it is. But the shape, see? The little shapes. It'll give it the appearance that some stuff is happening there. Okay? I like this. I don't normally do paintings like this. I really, really, I kind of like this. But it's just, um, you know, I'll, I don't know. We'll see. But no, I definitely, this is what's going to happen on the other, uh, their, the member channel because, or the, member page or whatever it's just I got more time if I want to do it for five hours you know with it I can do it for five I don't have to worry you know what I mean all right let's see here let's go to the road here I already got that set up okay let's get some I'm gonna get some white all right and a touch of uh, maybe yellow ochre looks a good candidate right now white and yellow ochre just to uh, you know not so it's not pure white white yellow ochre on this Filbert thing. Light's coming in, so obviously it's not really going to shine there, but watch this. I got to put highlights in here in a minute on the greenery over there, but I'm going to drop some of this in. Look, I'm just dragging it. See? Just drag it. Drag it, drag it, drag it. And then maybe have a little tiny bit peeking back. I don't even know where this trail goes, but it goes back there now. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Um, let's see here. Okay, you see how I just dropped the paint in there, right? Once again, you want to leave it? You can leave it like this if you want. When you stand back 10 feet, you'll get it. Um, I'm going to set this down. 
you could use the filbert to drag it out, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this three-quarter brush off right here. Wipe this three-quarter brush off, and I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to try to put it, you know, in its place here. Just kind of give it a roadly look. It's not a word. Roadly. It's not a word. It is now. It's my word. I'm going to give it a roadly look. See? Just... I'm going to come over here, and this is now going to turn into a little bit of, of a shadow. I'm going to steal some of the color, and it's just so, this is so damn, like, such a damn good feeling right here. I'm telling you. Oh, man. Serious stuff. Serious stuff. Oh, yeah, look at that. He just whips right around. Just got to kill that straight line real quick. Oh, yeah. See? This is so good. That, I mean, like, the feeling is just, oh, wow. Like, you want some light in your life? Yeah. Mm hmm. Let me help you with that situation. Because I can. I am confident in that. I am seriously confident in that. I'm okay if somebody even trashed me and said, oh, you don't know your, you know, you, yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm okay. Because I feel I'm confident. I'm confident. Yep. 100%. It's like, how can I help you? Uh, what you got issues hmm. let's solve those issues one issue at a time and i say that with the uh sincerest heart believe me believe me um and the reason i think that i'm like that now is because some if you have um if you're if you're if you're really hurt over the years or you know hurt bad damaged whatever well at least me i can't speak for anybody else but you know what I want? Here's what I want. I want everybody in life to never, ever hurt. And you got to start somewhere. And that's where I'm starting right now. I'm starting one person at a time, one post at a time. I don't care if it's embarrassing or not, because it's authentic and it's true. Okay? And I mean that. I really mean that. I mean it. Just, I'm just softening this rock because because I can. Because it's my rock. I can soften it. Now you see, like you're looking at that right there, and that looks. I mean, to me, that looks like an illusion. That looks like an illusion. Um, and uh, somebody's knocking on the door. But um, if you ever knock on my door, um, I. I'm not rude, but when I'm in the middle of a like a video, I, I never I never go and answer the door. Um, not to mention, like I don't know, is my 45 in here? I don't think so. Hold on, let me. I can't come. I'm on a video. Yeah, sorry, dude. Sorry, bud. Yeah, uh, you know, probably a nice guy, but you got to remember, like, you just I don't know. Be careful who you trust. And I'm not saying you can't trust him. I don't even know who he was. I'm just like, dude, I can't come to the door. Sorry, you know, I, I want to help you, but I won't, you know, I'm in the middle of something right now. So, um, what was I saying? Okay. All right. Here we go. How's this look, guys? Um, all right. Let me do so. I want to do the important stuff here. Important stuff. Important. Yellow, white. All right. Let's do yellow and white. All right. So, let's say you want to sparkle this thing up just a little bit, right? green, yellow, just, this is a bright color. Now this is where I say don't ruin it with highlights. Do not ruin it with highlights. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. We're gonna go down here in a second. But um, we have, you know, let me do something real quick. Let me see something real quick. Let me just see if, maybe this tree has a few little things here, I don't know. Maybe it has nothing on it. All right, watch this. You can't, don't overdo this, because you can overdo this. You see the color that I put in here? You want to just stay like on top a little bit. See, on top, skip a spot. See that? Can you see that right there? Come right here, put a little bit there. All right, I don't want to, I don't want to go crazy here, you know, because you can mess up this effect, you know? But I, I just want to show you the point, and I'm 
try to put in a few spots here so you can so you can see maybe the sun's you know it's hitting this right and then you can change the yellows a little bit I swear Niles if you're on here still if you're watching I swear I'm, I'm just gonna I should have told you this time too but I didn't know I was doing it so I don't know if you're here buddy but maybe you should just sit over here when we do the live streams I think it would be good enjoyable you you know you can see it in person watch it and um, you know it'd be good because let me tell you somebody comes to the door and you stand up it's like huh forget it dude like they're just I'm not even gonna have to tell them to leave they're just gonna take one look at you and they're gonna be like yo yo sorry sorry I uh, wrong building <laughs> I'm just saying, because Niles is like nine foot four. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I mean, he's tall as hell for sure. I'm gonna get some yellow ochre here, but um, I don't know, man. If you're if you're even on here still, just uh, I'd love for you to actually, you know, come over here one time and every time, and just sit and watch. You know, I'm gonna get some yellow ochre, right? And I'm gonna offset a little bit angles here. All right, everything should never go one just one angle. I'm going to get some pure, now this is where, I don't know, I'm going to experimenting now, a little Indian yellow, watch this. Maybe there's a different bush here, see, I had a little ye yellow ochre in there, so I put a little uh, Indian yellow, it's super bright, you see. These are all things that you can do. And I think that looks, you know, okay so far, you know, I'm not killing the, I'm not killing the, uh, all of the, I'm not putting too much in, is what I'm saying. And that's cool because I'm, it's bringing it to life is what, it, that's the purpose here, okay? It's bringing it to life. And let me grab, I'm gonna try this here. I'm gonna take some, some of this thalo blue, I'm gonna mix it with white, I'm gonna mix it with a little green. Check this out. Here's like a very, weird, like a bluish cool green color. Now watch this. Let's just put a little, you know, maybe one or two in here. These will, these little suckers right here, mm, these will sell your pictures here. It's like a little little turquoise, man. And boy, it's so cool. I mean, I'm getting excited just like doing it here. Like, wow, I wanna buy this. I want, I'm buying this. When I'm done, it's sold. I'm buying it, writing a check. Look, how cool is that? I mean, don't, don't overdo it though. Don't overdo it. So great. What, little, little leaves go right over the rock. See? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. So you can use like a turquoise blue green color, phthalo blue, mixed with white, mixed with just a tiny bit of green, and it's great, you know? So, just a little uh, little tip, whether you use it or not, it's a little tip. All right, let's, let's move on. So the, this, the idea, I think the reason this painting worked so well for me personally is because um, I didn't use too many highlights, you know? I'm gonna try, let me see how the fan brush, probably gonna use a filbert, but I'm gonna get some now, greens, Greens. See, I'm just mixing some green and some some black and just a dark green. I'm gonna get me a nice dark green to start off, and then I go light. You know, start with your dark highlights and then go. You know. Okay, it looks looking good. Looking good. Okay a little bit more of the black in there. I'm just getting a very dark green, and I want to do one of these numbers here. So I'm gonna look at this. I always step back. You guys watch that you know. That's what I do. I, I look at things, you know. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just add a few little, not much, just little, see? Little leaf, that's it, look. Little baby leaf here, see? Now all of a sudden, that's, a, that's something going on right here. Offset it a little bit, make them go right to the ground, who cares? See, he's a little something, he's a little bush or not quite sure, but he's cool looking, right? And interesting. And I would uh, stop and definitely say a few words to this if I was in the woods, you know, for sure. And that's not a joke. Just in case you're wondering. Talk trees all the time. Thanks, to, thanks again for that, Bob. Thanks again, Bob. <laughs> you know, I thank Bob often, by the way, you know, I really do. Because um, it's a shame that um, I don't think many people know how just how much I uh, have respect for him and his and his family, you know. 
I never, uh, I never want to appear to be him because there's only one him, and that's my recommendations. If anybody, if you're here and you want to, if you want to start a channel and you want to start doing something or painting, just be yourself. Be yourself. If people don't like you, you're not going to change that. So, don't worry about it. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't worry about it. If you don't like me, that's fine. That clearly tells me there's something wrong with you. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, that's so funny that I say that. I say that all the time to my wife. I'm like, you don't like me? Something wrong with you. Which really there should be because I'm the guy that, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not in, I'm not getting, I'm enough of that. You're not here for that. You're here for this. Here's what I'm getting into. I'm going to try, I want to see here. So the fan brush here, that's too light. I'm going to wipe this off and I want to see how this looks first before I do anything. that a little base on that mm -hmm. let me go back to this filbert real quick and i think i'm going to stick with the filbert to be quite honest with you because the filbert is what i used um both times the filbert is what works so i'm not going to use a fan brush you listen if it, if it works don't change it you know what i mean just do your thing so let me go back it's just uh, when I'm, what i'm saying is i'm sitting here looking at it i'm like now those bushes didn't look like that just use a filbert you know, much easier. All right, just lightening up this color a little bit. Some yellow, yellow and green. Pretty much, it's a lot of yellows in this painting. You know, a lot of yellows. So the light's coming through here, and I got to make sure that I skip a spot, skip a lot of spots, because it's important that you skip spots to leave the dark in there. If you don't leave the dark in there, it just it. It tends to look a little different, you know, like weird. Just like one big fat highlight, you know what I mean? So, one big highlight. We don't want one big highlight. I'm just going to tap a few little jammies in here. Maybe I can push upward, you know, so you can make a little row here. Watch this. Just showing you real quick. Put a little row of, uh, here's a little uh, row of beautiful whatever those sunflower thingies are, see? Just using the filbert, you know what I'm saying? But you leave the dark and it separates, okay? That's the purpose of that. I'm gonna mix some yellow ochre into here and change this up a little bit, see? Put some there, the edge here, and just, just kinda make, uh, make whatever. I'm just making whatever at this point. No, I'm just making little things that are actually there in real life. There's like all kinds of cool colors there, and and I don't know, you know, that I'm capturing it as it is, but who cares? You know? Just putting a lot of dark in there. That's just, all right, let me step back real quick. All right, so that's a nice row of bushes right there. Now, if you want to make something like this stand out, that's when you go grab the white and. So I'm get the yellow, nice bright color, all right, nice bright happening, and you just put a few little things in there, and that's ba-boom, done. Like, you know, see see where I'm heading? You see what direction I'm heading in right here? Giving you the, I'm giving you the keys here, <laughs> keys to life. Take them, trust me, take these keys, because these are good. Little bear, little guy there. You know, just the light's hitting the tops. It's hitting the top of these thingies all right and if you want remember that nice cool blue green color we were talking about you can just put a little, little they look like little shadow leaves or whatever something maybe 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 i'm crazy i'm not um amazing i hope uh, you know i hope this is uh this is interesting actually you know to say the least to say the least because uh, this is a painting that I would um, normally, I would do this in a workshop, not um, on YouTube. So it's just interesting that I'm doing this because it's not normally what I do, I, you know, for what you see, you know, so. Very interesting. I gotta put something here, not too light, not too dark, not too small, not too big. Just the right size. 
Okay, perfect. That looks good. That looks good there. Now we can go over to the other side. The other side. Let's do some green and yellow ochres, Indian yellow, beautiful colors. All the greens and yellows, everything, all, all of them. I'm just going to do one of these. This is so fun. This is just like, this just makes the day, you know? It really does. I mean, I'm just, look at it. I'm just doing whatever. I'm just popping color in here, you know? Just popping color in. That's all that I'm doing. One push at a time. Well, I'm going to set this filbert down for just a second because now I think um, the fan brush would be a good candidate for this here. Get some of our greens and yellows. and just I'm using all the greens and yellows is what I'm doing here. And then just to make this make a little bit more sense, maybe, you know, actually I'm going to do one of these numbers here. And you got to like, you really, you got to think about like, the shape of uh, whatever land it is that you're making, you, you really got to think about that, you know, because it really does matter. See? Thinking about it goes this way or whatever. And then you can come in and just, you don't want it to be too crazy bright down there where it very well could be a, a shadow area, you know. I'm going to make some moss on the tree here because it just feels appropriate right now, you know. And then thinking about, I don't know, I was thinking about putting a little little tunnel right here, at something for Niles to go crawling through. That'd be good right there. It goes to the other side of the tree, you know. I'll have to read this after and see if he even heard any of that. It's true, though. Tunnel man. Good dude, though. Wanting to get that, you know, wants the viewer to see, you know, what's going on in, in our life. Oh, this is, look at this. What'd you say? You're waiting to get happiness? Right here's your happiness. Oh, look at that. Mm, makes you How does that make you feel? It makes me feel great. It's just like, who turned the lights on, you know? Little, look, a little weed stick in there. So good. So nice. And then we can just like kind of really go to town and just make all this, you know, make sense. Just add a little of the darker colors in. He grows right up into the tree because that's just what he does. All right, let me set that down. Back to my favorite brush on the planet. It seems like this filbert. They can do anything with a filbert. You know, anything really. I can, I can eat with this thing for real. I just want a little couple hang hangers here. You know, and make sure they go up and in. You know, so it don't just look like they just start wherever. They grow on this tree. They grow right here. Just a few of them. You don't have to have a, a bunch of them. Because it's just like, you know, like I said, it's just a, an impression or illusion or whatever. You know, it just shows the viewer that there's moss here, you know. There's something happening here. Um, let me do this. I just want to put a sparkle of you know, something right here so I can put some yellow over the top of that. I just wanted to show that there's like some light shining through there, you know what I mean? That's all I'm looking to do with that here. I'm not going to spend like a lot of time on this. I'll pull, I will pull some of this up like that. And shape the land and you can drag it around and do whatever you want with it. You know what I mean? You can do all kinds of stuff back to a nice bright color because that light's going to go right here. It's shining. It's literally going to shine right through right like that. I'm, look, I got a bunch of yellow. Look at this. I got a whole spoonful or a filbert thing full of it. Lift it, use it, whatever. See, lift it, do all that stuff. Hmm. I'm just applying that there. And now, let me just pop some here, there. You know, maybe a couple shiners are coming through here. All right, wipe this off, and then I'm going to just tap some stuff in, you know. I'm going to do one of these. Let's see if this works. I'm going to tap it down. It'll get dark because it's going to mix with that dark color. And this is probably where the fan brush would be good, maybe. You know, maybe there's some areas here that, I don't know, something like that. Let me see how that looks. Oh, we need some stuff 
right here. Well, that's a lot. So some of that light is being caught, you know, right, right here. See? And then I'm just going to tap off the top of that a little bit because some of the light's just catching, you know, it's just, it's just what's happening here, you know, it's coming through, coming through. That is just coming through. <laughs> and I don't want to forget. Yeah, let's try to switch the color up, you know. I'm tired of using the same color tonight. <laughs> let's use a nice little blue, green, yellow color. And let's have uh, some things right where. Um, let's do a little. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Look, that's a bush. See? There's a nice little bush. Boom. Put one there, too. Give it a little one here, a little layer. See? little trail. Nice, 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 nice. Hmm. Little shadow bush. Oh, that's what I was looking for. I like them shadow bushes. See, just just stab it. Layer. See? Oh, I just messed up the messed the hairs up. I just he ooh, bent the hairs. But you gotta leave the dark. You gotta leave the dark because you'll it'll it'll just look weird, you know, if you if it's just one big highlight. I'm just doing this for the camera. I just want you to see Something here. So this September, I'm doing. Uh, I'm teaching for three straight days in um, what the hell's the name of the town? It's in uh, Virginia. It's near. Uh, if any of you guys are on here, if you ever went to the World of Color when that was um, doing its thing, Herndon, somewhere near Herndon, Virginia. I'm going sep the week of September, I don't know, 30th or something like that teaching for three straight days and the projects that I'm doing there are projects like this you know um, and that's what I'm going to you know be doing there for three days and um, I don't know why am I telling you I don't know maybe the class is sold out I don't know it's supposed to happen last year but um, you know compliments of the world we live in it had to get postponed so um, David uh, David Vernon from uh, he, I think it's like, I forget the name, David David L. Vernon, he's on Facebook. He's the guy, that's where I'm going, by the way, to do it. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to just put a little sparkler here and there, just, you know, so there's not, so we don't just have filbert leaves, you know. Just put a little, variation is the next thing that I, I think you need to have because you use different brushes and things, have different shapes and different stuff, you know. So, different things. So it's not all one, you know, the brush stroke or whatever, you know, the same brush stroke, you know. <clears throat> Different things. So I'm just going to leave that back there like that because that's, I mean, that's just, you know, he's not that important. He's, he's in the distance, you know. And there, there, there. And then I guess if I wanted to, I could do one of these numbers here real quick. Let me do this real quick. Um, just for the hell of it, um, let me get some dark green. Real nice, ugh, dark green, dark, dark, dark. Black, green. Nice, yeah, that's good. Um, let me just do this real quick. I'm just going to put a few, I don't want to do a lot because that's not, I don't want to do these kind of leaves, but this is just dark, dark color. I just wanted to, just, I want you to see a point here. Okay, that here's the point. You know, this is definitely in front. Okay, that's my point. This little, these leaves or whatever, the little branches and stuff. Look, they are in front. They're in front of that tree, or they're in front of the stuff in the background. I just want to make that known and clear. All right, so just putting little shapes and little designs and little things that peek through, and you know. And this is where, don't be afraid, just get her done, as uh, old Niles would say, get her done, get her done. So I'm just, you know, slapping some color around. Even this guy, look, let's give him something to do. So you want to have a nice, you know, dark color here for your foreground stuff, okay? And that's, that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm trying to prove a point here. You want it to be perspective is important, you know, that's all. 
perspective is important. So now you have that, and then set that down. You go over to the old, you know, the filbert brush. And then this is when you can sort of like kind of refine some of this, you know, take your filbert, come in here and just kind of do some swipes or little tappings and whatnot, you know, but not too crazy. But you just want to have, you don't want to just have a fan brush, uh, you know, fan brush leaves or whatever. I mean, maybe you do. I don't know. I'm just, I don't. I just like to have little variations of different things. That's all. So Sometimes it works. Sometimes it does not work. I just wanted this to be known that uh, there was leaves on it. There was leaves on this tree, and there'll be leaves on the other one too. All right, let me get some green and some dark color. I just want to put a few right across the tree. Also, don't be afraid to go right across the tree trunk. You know. <clears throat> All right, let me see here. I'm just trying to make this balanced, like a well-balanced meal <laughs> not that uh that made sense but all right now all right so with that said so there's a lot of dark in here so i'm going to take you know it's not going to be the super crazy bright uh color but i'm going to take just some yellow and some green on this filbert here and just to try to give you a little blue in there i think that'll settle nicely on the filbert and then that's when you know if you want you can just Wipe that off and get some white. So I'm uh, running out of yellow, out of yellow, but um, I just wanted to add a few little things here, you know, so you can see what I'm talking about. There's not a lot of light here because this is sort of behind the tree. Behind the tree. Let me do, let me try this yellow ochre, green. So it's just a totally different, a totally different uh, color. So maybe it'll, yeah, that's better. You know, it'll hopefully, you know, stand out a little bit different than the others. Yeah, that's it. Just take it. So you just get the paint on there. That's I always do this. Just get it on there and then just, you know, work with it after that. Um, I got a couple here. A lot of paint on here. So, so for the you know purpose of demonstration, the color works, you know, for for whatever. But it's just like this little woods area, you know? It's like in the woods. It's great. Uh, a little bit more for here. Can't leave this guy out right here. Boom. So you just I mean it doesn't have to be like this perfect thought out leave. You just get the color on and just move it around you know keep it moving keep it moving you know keep it moving because if you get stuck on something too long that's when you're in trouble see tap it tap it tap it all right now let me wipe that real quickly and then let me just grab me just sling that there now i want to go over to white and a little maybe a little green yeah this is what i'm feeling i just want to try something real quick this is just like white and green white and green um and i was thinking this for the you know for the illusion portion of my life uh right there just put some of these colors on here just just a couple of them actually i'll just slice them on like this it'll just look like little glimmers of light and and stuff and i can just mix them up like this now up close you know looks like uh some form of garbage, um, but from far away, it looks good, or better, illusion, like I said. Light color, tap it in, a little bit more, just a tiny bit more, I want this little sparkle right there, I don't know why, right there. Okay, but you see like what I'm talking about right there, it's just like whatever, it is what it is, and then I got enough Oops, enough white left to do what I want to do here with the white. I'm just going to wipe that off real quick. 
going to get some a little bit of yellow in there, yellow ochre, one of the yellows. I don't know. I just was just feeling a little like debris here or something, you know, just for the not not too crazy. But I just wanted to just thought it would, uh, you know, complement, you know, some of the uh, whatever. Copy that. Copy that. How's that look? <laughs> How's that look? Because um, that's all. That's all I'm doing, folks. That's all I'm doing. Oh, man. Two hours and thirty minutes. And that's how that happens. Ooh. That's all I'm doing. So you know, you can you can do you can mess with this stuff. I mean, you can. You know, if you want, like, see, I like playing with light sometimes. You can take a knife and, you know, if you really want to show, like, look. You can just come in here and play with light, see? All kinds of things you can do. I'm just doing this with a knife to show you real quick, you know, what's possible. Let's put some light in there. Let me put some up there. Like, that light's really... Like it's shining in, you know, you see what I mean? Like it just kind of gives you something, I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I don't care, I always say that. Maybe I don't care. <laughs> um, no, but for real, I don't think, I don't, I'm not doing anything else. I'm, I'm good. This was just for demonstration purposes to show you, uh, you know, what I'm going to be doing um, with the channel member live streams when I start in a, in a couple weeks. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Just a much different way to paint. It's fun though. It's it, all ways are fun to me, but this is a little bit more, this is a little bit more, I don't know. I, I feel like maybe people can learn just a little bit more this way. I don't know. I'm not quite sure if they, you know, what, what the deal is. I don't, I try not to judge my own everything, life or anything. So I just, uh, I just wake up and try to be the best human possible every day. And whatever happens from there happens from there, you know, and that's just kind of how, that's how we roll. That's how we roll over here in the pines, in the pine barrens, Pineyville. So, all right, I'm going to get ready to end the video. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all the stuff, and uh, I'll read the comments uh, when I end the video, and I'm kind of cleaning up. So, thank you, and um, I think that's it. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping by. See ya.